is so much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.
I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... In the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I found another reactor blew up, which must have been caused zero, by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Ah, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier. You're right. That soldier, armed with a buster sword, highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here. Get him on board. Press for takeoff. The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Quick, get the camera off him. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey!
Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and what little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with new time, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. Take 
one, I'll take the other. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain, only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Oh, there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. you cloud how you've grown so, then I stop on my mom's sure it does I know I want to hear what happened me too yeah go on My dad died when I was a kid, so after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? 
I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Could you keep up? Take a short break. If you're feeling a bit... Ever since we heard a survey team was coming, we've been working our fingers to the bone. Shard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. are so sophisticated. I can only imagine what their lives must be like. Uh, what, really? I thought you were happy he decided to stay at home. Not with the salary he's got. If he wanted to make it... So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? 
After two years away, you know that. My place? I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. my room? I did. You went through my stuff? I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You asshole! Did you actually play it? Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit! You're a merc of many talents. at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? <laughs> Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do.
I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin! Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? <sighs> there? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen the cool reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that it's on now 
This is how it's going to be. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form. Genova. M-E-G-L-77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M-E-G-L-913-1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, They grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. 
Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gath. Wondrous experiment! He created you? should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey! Hold on! asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. Secure the way out. Now! Yes, sir! Zephyrah? But he... Why would he... I'm 
coming. Don't worry, I got you. Come on, let's get you up.
I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! Reclaim our world, and I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! <laughs> Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad. Mother, because I'm here for you, now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa, my village, my home! <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too, for I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! 
Whoever the hell you are! That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Dunno about alive so much.